guys welcome back to the channel and today we have a box now this box is actually from a literary crate the november box so back when they were doing their boxes it was just like full box item only blah blah i have this as the item only box for their november box now there's one reason why i got this box because the one of the items were going to be a percy jackson item and i cannot wait to see what's inside also Hi guys, they are now changing their books so to to be b to be b to be read something like that. And basically, every quarterly you choose the products that you want. Basically, you choose the book, you choose the items. I get the standard box, so I have to choose between each box and each item. And if you get the deluxe uh, box, you get all of it. Let's open this box because I'm intrigued. So you open it up and this is what you see inside. <clears throat> so the theme for November's box was Gods and Vikings. Look at this artwork. And it has all the thing inside which we'll go through. Okay, we have a box. And inside the box we have something in a bad box. It's covered. Oh, it's one of those um, keychain. I think you can see it as well. Uh, lights worn in action. You twist it and lights come on. That's really cool. I like these because I used to get them in a box. It says, appreciate the flower regardless of its roots. Moon. Is that goddess of the moon? <clears throat> I'm not quite sure, but it reminds me of that. <clears throat> There's a cute little with a keychain and it has that so it lights up. So it's very, very nice. I like those kind of things. <coughs> Let's that. Okay. We have a kind of like silky bag. It says it literally crates and it feels like a puzzle. Yes. We have some puzzles inside. Um, I'm not sure on the puzzle picture. I guess we're going to have some kind of photo in here telling us what the picture of this puzzle will be. So we'll find that out in a minute. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is my Percy Jackson item. Look how cute. It's a bright object. Look, it matches my, my t shirt on my way. That's funny. Um, So this is a Percy Jackson item. For the winter, you know, it's actually quite sturdy, it's quite nice. Um, to it all. What do you think? I like the colour. Maybe people can see in the dark when I'm literally cycling home because I always cycle home in the dark. I have one of those light ones. It's my hair mask. Yeah, just a bit. But that is definitely something I will definitely use. Give that a lot of use off because who doesn't love Percy Jackson? Now, mm. we have a notebook. Oh my god, this is pretty. This is pretty. Pretty. So this is a notebook from the Never Ending Story. Look at that. Oh my god, it's literally like... What's the word? So it's not like painted on, it's literally something stuck onto it. So we have snakes entwined. I haven't watched the Never Ending Story in so long. Like, you can watch it and read it. I don't think I've read it before. Oh, look at these. Look at that. That's so cute. It does have anything in the pack. I just have the same ones. But it's literally just like my paper already found. And we do have a little uh, bookmark in it as well. That's very cool. I love that. Love it. I don't know what to say. Okay, let's move the box. Okay. Ah. This is our puzzle, and it looks like it's Hercules with Hades and Zeus. That's cool. I like that. Is it weird that you ever want to frame your puzzles? Or is it just me? <clears throat> okay, now we just get into the little kickback books. So we have a little sticker that says Hammer Time on it from Thor. Then we have 
find these cards. This is a Valkyrie, so we know as the Toes of the Slain. So we have this character card. I think I might use this one and put this on this side of the wall. Um, something like that. I'm not actually quite sure, but I like these. I can't remember where I put my other one. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure where I put the other one like that. And then we have a bookmark. Oh wow. Hmm. So it's one of these ones. So one side she's got this and then dark. Light. Okay, but that's pretty that's a better picture. Dark, light. That's so cool and pretty. Oh. I'm not sure who the character is yet. But let's look for our spoilers so we know. <clears throat> so if you got the um full box, so the book was going to be uh Children of Ragfanoff by Cindy Williams Chima Chima, so if I said that name wrong. But yeah, was the book for this month. Um it's going to be items. So <clears throat> First of all, we have our camp demigod beanie. Come train your minds and your head to become a hero by wearing this camp demigod beanie. This knit hat will not only to keep you cozy and warm, but it's the perfect for all demigods who wants to become the Norse god mentioned in the Children of Ragnarok. That is very right. So it says, wash machine, wash machine, machine wash, do not bleach, iron or low heat, dry clean and do not tumble dry. That is fun. I'm gonna go there. Then we have, yes, the goddess of the moon keychain. So the children of Ragnarok were inspired by Norse mythology, including the god that had been inspired for many stories we know and love. Travel to the moon about goddess goddess of the moon keychain, inspired by the legend of the Chinese moon goddess. And that's very, very pretty. I will definitely get used to that. Then. And then we have our Hercules um, parcel. Puzzle. Puzzle. Go from zero to hero. <clears throat> Go from zero to a puzzle to win hero with his Hercules puzzles. Hercules is famous for his strength and his numerous far ranging adventures. Now you could like to follow along as you put together the 260 pieces of puzzles. <clears throat> so we have this puzzle also highlights Pegasus, Muses, Muses, uh, Zeus, Missus, Hades, Apollo, and the Hydras. Ooh, that's actually really fun. Then we have our little uh, Thor time sticker. So it's hammer time and shout out for one of your favourite heroes with uh, this awesome waterproof sticker. Um, Children of the of Roth um, uses influence of Norse mythology for detailing throughout the story. The lyrics father descendant from Thor who was Odin's son, a great warrior. That's pretty. And then, ah, now it makes sense. Perfect persona. Pers Persephone, I can't say name. Bookmark. You can't read a book influenced by mythology without mentioning a powerful goddess of darkness and light. Perso per Persef I can't say name. The wife of Hades and the daughter of Zeus is forced to be reckoned with on so many levels, just like Regan. So you feel this is the queen of the underworld with this bookmark. I will leave all the people who designed these down below, by the way. Then we have the story notebook. So fill your uh, new with story notebook with wishes and adventures with the Neverland. Use your imaginations to record your quest with luck, dragons, oracles, ivory towers, and a grain of sand that stores a whole world. Regan and Eric Eric's travels in the uh, the children of Ragnarok kind of, are just as magical as the storybook and his beloved classic music movie. That's why this note notebook, this notebook is one of my favorite items, plus the camp beanie as well. And then lastly, we have our adventure card. <clears throat> so, um, celebrate the warri warrior in you with this Valkyrie adventure card. In Children of Ragnarok, Reggie has to dig deep to find the warrior inside to protect herself. The Valkyrie was female warriors sent to the battlefields to choose the soul of the hero of King Dead, who were worthy to join Odin's army. So, on that time, you could add on the Crescent City acrylic standees out. The Jacob Wolf Critter Collection number pin. I didn't actually see that, so we've got that because it's Twilight. And that was it. Then it's going through like the collections they're doing. It's going to start their new subscription box. They come in. Um, they've done the Daughter of the Smoke and Bone series that you've seen already. Then we've gotten this. 
Devil Down the Rabbit Hole come in 2023 and Alice in Wonderland or something. And then obviously it tells us more about To Be Be To Be Weed and stuff like that. And then Oh, it comes in March. Ooh. So it tells in March we ha in, we're gonna have an Alice in Wonderland themed thing. Ooh. And then we're also going to get the next was the next edition for To Be Weed. for our lit joy crate for november so that was everything for last year and um, well i've got a few more things that have got to arrive but that is going to be the last thing but um when i start getting the new lit joy crate box it's going to be completely different i'm no i know what's going to be in the boxes because i'm the one who chose them so <clears throat> um i did ask if i can choose the book or not and they have an extra item but i'm not sure i can so I am going to choose a book that I might not be interested in, but I could read it and see if it will involve my reading stories. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time for the next unboxing. Bye. Which by the way, there's another unboxing coming. Wait and see.